Hi all, welcome to Department of Physics, SGU Mayesh PU College, Belagavi. Today uh, I will demonstrate an experiment on physics. This is the first experiment of your curriculum, finding the resistance per unit length of a given wire. This is the given wire, this is the given wire. Okay, you have to find out the resistance of this material given to you. Okay, so I will just try to uh, introduce the apparatus used to this experiment. You come here. Okay, this is the battery eliminator. This is the battery eliminator. It is. You have to set this to two volt because uh, the apparatus what we are using here in this uh, laboratory will work for two volt. So it has two terminals. The one is the positive terminal and one is the negative terminal. You can clearly have a look on that. And the this is what milli milli ammeter. Okay, you can clearly see that M here. This is milli ammeter, and it has. 500 till readings from 0 to 500 milliampere okay so the thing is that if it is 100 0 to 100 there are 10 divisions it means that every division gives you what 100 divided by 10 that is what 10 milliampere one each and every division will give you 10 milliampere current okay the milliammeter is a device which is used to measure the value for current flowing through a circuit and the next device we are going to use here it is voltmeter the voltmeter this is the voltmeter which is the device which is used to find the potential difference between any two points so it has a reading from 0 to 3 volt okay so you can clearly have a look on this 0 to 0 0.5 we have 10 divisions correct here to here we have 10 divisions so 0 to 0 0.5 10 divisions so that's the reason why each and every division will give you 0 0.5 divided by 10 because between 0 and 0 0.5 there are 10 divisions okay so 0 0.05 volt will be the reading for one division here okay again it has two terminals one is the positive as well as one this is the positive one this is the negative one here okay the next device to be used here it is rheostat the rheostat has two terminals this is the lower terminal of the rheostat this is the lower terminal rheostat and this is the what upper terminal of the rheostat okay so the you have to use these two upper terminal as well as lower terminal of the rheostat just to vary the what resistance just to vary the resistance like this like this you have to slide over here so that the resistance can be varied okay so then the one more device which is used is key okay so this is used as key you have to take these two terminals if i insert the key there is a what interconnection between these two terminals so for that we have to use the key here okay and the remaining this is the this is the given wire we have to find out the resistance of this and these are all the connecting wires okay so these are all the connecting wires which are used in this experiment okay so let's start uh, uh, to do the circuit setup now you can clearly have a look on this one this is the circuit setup you need to use okay so here you can clearly see the milliammeter the positive and negative terminal uh, this is the battery eliminator key one that is what only one key is used assume that it is a key reverse stat its lower terminal this is the upper terminal okay and similarly this is the given wire this is the given uh, wire has the resistance r you need to find out the resistance of this one okay and this is the voltmeter okay this is the circuit setup now we have to connect them accordingly okay now here i will take the what the positive terminal of the battery eliminator uh, please refer the diagram so that you definitely get to know about it and definitely understand this okay the positive terminal of the battery eliminator you have to connect it to the positive terminal of the uh, milliammeter so i will just connect it to the positive terminal of the milliammeter here so that you can make the first setup okay and the negative terminal from the uh, battery it is a battery eliminator should be connected to key okay given key this is what uh, there is that key so here it is i have to connect it to a one more terminal of the key because key has two terminals here okay one side i have it connected and from the another side of the key we have to connect it to okay we have to connect to look at the diagram so that you definitely get to know about it uh, and here you can clearly see uh, from another end of the key it has to connect it to the lower end of the rheostat this arrow indicates that it is the upper terminal so lower terminal connected to a lower terminal here lower terminal 
okay and finally i have to connect from upper terminal of the rheostat upper terminal of the rheostat okay to the to the what the voltmeter voltmeter's negative terminal voltmeter's negative terminal voltmeter's negative terminal okay then the thing is that the both voltmeter and uh, ammeter should be in parallel that's the reason why i can clearly have a look on this here you see a positive to you have to connect it to the negative terminal of the milliammeter okay so i am taking from the positive terminal of the voltmeter positive terminal of the voltmeter to the you have to connect it to the negative terminal of the milliammeter <sighs> okay now it's done so here you can clearly have a look on this circuit diagram so the given resistor a wire of resistance r should be connected in the parallel with the voltmeter that's the reason why in such cases you show here so here they must be connected in parallel you have to connect them like this okay so like this you have to connect okay hope it's clear now the resistance of a given wire should be connected in parallel with this voltmeter this is the circuit setup now while taking the readings you have to insert this key okay that's it so you have to insert this key here like this okay so we shall start taking readings now i will just explain the tabular column here you can clearly have a look on this one the tabular column you have to take six trials here first of all you have to read the voltmeter reading okay here you can see once the deflection is obtained you have to make a note of this voltmeter reading first according to for example if you are getting some 0.25 here okay corresponding corresponding ammeter reading has to be noted down in the second column see for example if you got uh, uh, if you get something 0.25 here corresponding voltmeter uh, ammeter reading corresponding ammeter reading should be noted here in this column okay so i will show you how to take the how to take the readings now i will just switch on i will just switch on so while switching on the uh, key should be removed okay now i will close this key okay now initially you can see here it is zero okay you can clearly see that it is zero and here you can clearly see the some small deflection is there okay small deflection is there now i will vary the rheostat i will vary the rheostat here okay i will just vary the rheostat once you vary the rheostat you can definitely find out the what deflection in the voltmeter you can definitely see the what deflection in the voltmeter i will i'm just raising it now i will just raise it here i will just raise it here and now uh, okay i will just stop it here now you can clearly see the voltmeter there is a deflection of how much it is 0.25 you can clearly see the 0.25 correspondingly there are how much it is it's nearly about 1 2 3 4 divisions are there 40 milliampere that's the reason why so here it's it is you have to make it note, note that 0.25 volt for 0.25 volt Uh, so you have to get how much it is zero uh, sorry it is 40 milli ampere okay corresponding corresponding values have to be noted now again you have to increase this again you have to increase this you have to slide over like this make it for 0.50 i'll just show you here okay now it is 0.5 you can clearly see you can clearly see it is 0.5 for 0.5 it is showing us something like uh, uh ninth division it is so that 9 into 10 each and every division will give you 10 that's why it should be 90 okay i will take it as 90 milli ampere for 0.50 okay again you have to increase this again you have to increase this one increase this one increase this one it is not compulsory that you have to take only 0.25 it is not required not only required to take 0.5 you can take it for 0.10 you can take it for 0.20 0.30 0.40 like this 0.50 like this you can also you can take okay depending on your 
comfortableness at that time you have to take it like this appropriate values has to be noted down okay noted down in the milliameter column okay so now this is what about the experiment okay so hope you got to know about everything now i will show you the calculation part okay you know that you have to find out the resistance per unit length of the wire okay this is what the concept is now okay so you have to use the graph you have to use the graph in the graph along the y axis you have to take a current in milliampere along x axis you have to take the applied voltage applied voltage in volts you need to take okay so now here you know that for 0 0.10 some values you will definitely get here okay make it like this uh, voltage will be 0 0 0.10 0 0.20 0 0.30 0 0.40 like this corresponding values have to be noted down according to the what current value you will definitely get the what a straight line like this you have to take the slope slope will give you this is delta i because y axis has delta i x axis should will give you delta v here okay you know that r is equal to v divided by according to the according to the what coulomb according to the ohm's law it is v divided by i but here we have i divided by v here so that's the reason why slope will give you 1 divided by r equal to 1 by r equal to delta v divided by sorry delta i divided by delta v here opposite to adjacent to delta i divided by delta v so therefore r equal to delta v divided by delta i you will take this value as well as this value you need to substitute you definitely get the resistance in terms of some ohm here given that you have to make the observation we will give you the value for length of the wire for example 0 0.50 meter okay i will take it 0 0.50 meter so therefore resistance per length will give you whatever the value you will get that you have to make it down divide by 0 0.5 in terms of ohm per meter because resistance unit is ohm uh, the length unit of length is meter that's the reason why answer would be in terms of ohm per meter this should be the ultimate result okay hope it is clear to everyone thank you very much see you in the next experiment enough